First on Fox at 5, new details tonight in a tragic fire that rocked the Metro East community. Five children under the age of 10 all died in that fire back in August. Well, now their mother is facing charges, and we are hearing from the landlord for the first time. Fox 2's Kelly Hoskins joins us live from Belleville with that story. Kelly. Well, Mandy and Vic were right outside of St. Clair County State's Attorney's Office where they issued charges against the mother, Sabrina Dunnigan. She's facing five felonies for endangering the life and health of a child. Now, I caught up with the landlord of that apartment building where this deadly fire all unfolded. The bottom line, she left her babies at home with something burning and set the building on fire. Rudy McIntosh retired from the East St. Louis Police Department in 2019 after 24 years. He owns the apartment building where the five children died on 29th Street in East St. Louis. Investigators say the children were home alone in the August 6th fire. Thursday, McIntosh was making repairs to the building. You know, I don't know what else she told the investigators, but she told me she left a candle burning and the kids set the apartment on fire. That's, that's what she said to me. Because of the investigation, the East St. Louis Fire Chief could not confirm if a candle was left burning. Wednesday, the St. Clair State's attorney charged the children's mother, Sabrina Dunnigan. Dunnigan now facing five class three felonies of endangering the life or health of a child. They wondered why was it five kids? We have no idea. Her lease shows two kids. That's all we ever seen. Where the other three came from, we have no idea. McIntosh says the family had survived another fire at one of his Shiloh properties in 2019. When COVID, we had no choice but to put them here. On that particular day of the fire, like I say, people, had, everybody had an assumption, no smoke detectors, the building was in disarray. That's not the case. Yeah, our heart go out to those kids. You know, we got kids, grandkids, so yeah, we're hurting also. But at the end of the day, the evidence speaks for itself. The building had nothing to do with what happened to them babies. That was the mother's fault. At the end of the day, she should have been at home with her kids. Now, I reached out to several family members of Dunnigan, and they say they believe that she's already suffered enough after losing all her children, and they hope that prosecutors will take that under consideration as they move through the court proceedings. Reporting live from Belleville, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.